Hi there. This time, we're going to be analyzing rational functions and talking about finding the equations of horizontal asymptotes. The vertical asymptotes and the horizontal asymptotes form a kind of a frame for the arms of the graph of your rational function. We've already talked about finding the equations of the vertical asymptotes, so we're going to discuss the three easy rules for finding the equations of horizontal asymptotes. If the degree of the numerator is lower than the degree of the denominator, here the degree of the numerator is 1, the degree of the denominator is 2, so the degree of the numerator is lower. When this happens, the equation is always y equals 0, which is the x-axis. The x-axis will be your horizontal asymptote. When the degrees of the numerator and denominator are the same as they are here, then the uh, horizontal asymptote equals the ratio of the leading coefficients. Here, the, the equation of the horizontal asymptote is going to be y equals 28 over 7, and 28 over 7 is 4. So the equation of the horizontal asymptote will be y equals 4. And finally, when the, um, <clears throat> when the degree of the numerator is greater than the degree of the denominator, then you don't have a horizontal asymptote. What you do have is a situation you'll discuss if you get to calculus, if you want to take calculus, if you have to take calculus. So uh, you don't even have to worry about that here. It's enough to be able to answer there is no horizontal asymptote. That is the entire total story of how you find the horizontal asymptote. Okay, I'll talk to you later.